Got it. <laughs> Hey yo, today I'm going to to Bruce through the paddle boat incident. If y'all don't subscribe, help your boys 30k. Let me know what y'all going to see next down below. The paddle boat incident. Let's see what this man on. All right. So not too long ago, I attended a little family reunion of mine. And it was yo. with my mom's side of the family that we don't see too often, considering they live all the way out in BFE, North Dakota. Now I got to say it was a pretty good time, but uh, since nobody pooped their pants or got arrested, this cartoon isn't about that trip. Instead, this cartoon's about a conversation that I had with my Uncle Sean while we were playing a game of cornhole. Hey, uh, I see all those stupid little cartoons you do on the internet. Why didn't you ever do a cartoon on the paddle boat incident? And at first I was oh, like, shit. paddle boat incident? What paddle boat incident? And then all of a sudden it hit me. Oh my god, the goddamn paddle boat incident! How could I forget? Now at the time, I didn't think I had any repressed memories. Which I guess is what everybody thinks at first, because, well, they're fucking repressed memories. You're not supposed to remember them. But as soon as my Uncle Sean Damn. uttered those words, Paddle boats. Hey, if it's that bad that you didn't want to remember it or didn't remember it, bro? You know what I'm saying? Or not supposed to remember it? That's crazy. We, <laughs> we gonna see now. Insect in time. I immediately time traveled back 20 years ago to the first Jeez. time we had one of these little family reunions. So there I am, 11 years old, at a cabin in North Dakota, and I'm meeting my mom's side of the family for the first time, which of mm. course means I'm meeting my Uncle Sean for the first time. And what better way to bond with your little nephew than offering to go out on a little paddle boat ride? Hey, uh, you want to go on this tiny little boat in the middle of a pond? Uh, no, not really. Perfect, let's go! <laughs> so we pull this old-ass paddle boat out onto the shore, and right before we get on the water, my grandpa's like, Hey, uh, Sean, be careful with that paddle boat. There's a loose bearing on there somewhere, and we're having some problems with it. And my Uncle Sean said, nothing, because he... No life jacket, no nothing, bro. That man wanted you to die that day. He didn't care. So off we go out on the pond with this rickety ass paddle boat. And I have to say I'm a little apprehensive for two reasons. For one, I'm about as good a swimmer as a fucking late stage FDR, which is not a good trait to have. And for two, I'm not the biggest fan of deep, creepy ass water to begin with. Who the hell knows what kind of fucking Freddy Krueger shit's ah, down. Ah, fucking fags, bro. Oh my God. And they're waiting for I don't fuck with the beach at all, bro. The only place you'll see catch me is a, is a water park, bro. I ain't gonna lie to y'all for you. Well, imagine my surprise when we're out there and I look down at my feet and I notice that there's a little bit of water pooling around our ankles. Now, I'm no boat enthusiast, but I'm fairly certain that the water is supposed to be on the outside of the goddamn boat. But then I think, you know what? It's probably all right. I'm with my uncle, you know? He's an Boy. adult. He's responsible. But then I look over and all of a sudden he's responsible. Does he have kids? He probably don't have kids. That man wants you to die. His ass is drunker than fucking 10 stepdads put there together. You see, apparently back on shore, my Uncle Sean made himself a little cocktail of vodka and lemonade. And I think it was safe to say that the ratio that he used was a little lopsided. First, you take the fifth of Smirnoff. Look, 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 look. Then you waft an unpeeled lemon around the rim. Ta-da! Uncle Sean's <laughs> lemonade. So now I'm starting That's to panic. It. I'm slow. That's it. More liquor than fucking lemonade, boy. I'm starting boy. to realize that this is going to be an More ordeal lemon. now. Uh, hey, maybe we should turn around and go back. Oh, the hell with that. There's nothing to worry about. I know this lake like my own asshole. Uh, when was the last time you even seen your own asshole? What? Look, we're not turning exactly. around until I finish this vodka, <laughs> or my lemonade. Let's keep on going. So we keep going, and of course the water level keeps on rising. I'm sitting there hoping my Uncle Sean hurries up and drinks his goddamn drink. But every time I look over, the fucking drink looks bigger and bigger. Well, by the time we get to the middle of the pond, the whole front end of the paddle boat's basically level with the plane of the water. I'm like waist deep in this shit. We're more water than we are boat at this point. My Uncle Sean's over there totally oblivious, still trying to make casual conversation and shit. So, uh, you like... <laughs> level with the plane of the water I'm like waste <laughs> yo y'all in a floaty right now bro deep in this shit we're more oh water my. than we are boat at this point michael sean's over there totally oblivious still trying to make casual conversation bro. and shit so uh you like taking spelling tests at school uh i'm up to my asshole in pond water right now what? <laughs> Whoa, where the hell did all this water come from uh, okay, yeah, we should probably turn back now. So now we start pedaling our asses off like we're on the last leg of the Tour de France. And of course, Boy. it doesn't take long before my 11-year-old ass is completely exhausted and can't even <laughs> pedal anymore. Uh, you need to pedal faster. My calf muscles are underdeveloped, goddammit. I can't pedal anymore. <laughs> so since my Uncle Sean's the only one pedaling at this point, we're just doing circles in this godforsaken oh, pond. And we're man. still a good distance from the shoreline, which is terrible news because <laughs> now the water's up to my fucking neck and I'm starting to make my peace with God. 
God, please, if you get me out of this, I'll give you all my Pokemon cards, including my holographic Charizard. All right, well, not my holographic Charizard. That's ridiculous. <laughs> but all the rest of them. Meanwhile, everybody back on lands, totally oblivious to what the hell is happening on the waterfront. Hey, wasn't Yo. there a dirty little kid roaming around here at some Pickle. point? Oh, I don't know. Who the fuck cares? So finally, I just make up my mind and bail. It's every man for himself at this point. I'm swimming my ass off for the shoreline, trying not to think of the fucking Freddy Krueger fish underneath uh. me. I go and look back behind me, and the paddle boat's at a fucking 90 degree angle at this point, looking like the goddamn Titanic. Michael Sean pulls out a fucking violin and fucking plays it somehow without spilling his drink. So I swim my little FDR ass as far as I can, which is about 20 feet before I give up and I'm like, all right, guess I'll die now. And just when I thought all hope was lost, I realized that I could fucking stand up in the water this entire time. Oh my God, I'm gonna make it. <clears throat> uh, God, that Pokemon deal is off the table. So in the end, <laughs> both me and Michael Sean had well, to nice. this shit the man from this god, that's crazy. Old paddle boat that tried to murder us back on the shore. And that's when my Uncle Sean turns to me and was like, Hey, uh, maybe don't tell anybody about this little mishap that we had out there. And you know what? That's exactly what I did. I kept it a big old secret. So much of a secret that apparently it turned into a fucking repressed memory. Yeah, I was yep. wondering why you didn't make that into a cartoon. Hell, I was worried that I traumatized the shit out of you. <laughs> so the whole moral of the story is, one, to hell with ponds and their fucking Freddy Krueger fish. Two, yep. fuck paddle boats. They are the worst form of transportation known to man. <laughs> and three, don't have your drunk ass uncle be your captain. Well, that was a blast. What do you want to do next? You want to go on the jet ski? All right, let me go make another drink real quick and we'll hop on the jet ski. Yeah. Yes. He's that, that man wanted you to die that day, bro. I ain't going to lie to you, bro. He was on a mission to get you hurt. See you in pain. You're not sane. Fuck that. 1626. Dude, the fact that his uncle supports and watches the channel easily makes him one of the coolest uncles. Facts. Facts, bro. One of the best things about Bruce was he never loses his touch. Imagine his uncle was a ship captain for his career. Yo. <laughs> fucking A, bro. That man did not want to see you alive that fucking day, bro. That li the, the liquor was talking to him. It was yelling at him. It's like a devil and the angel on the shoulder. The devil. He had two devils on his shoulder. Yeah, we go, you going to ask your, 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 your nephew to go on this paddle boat knowing damn well it's broken and you guys are going to go fucking paddle boat to the middle of the pond and you're fucked. That's what they were telling him, boy. Oh, my God. Good. Hey, thankfully ain't nothing else happened. You're not saying nothing else got bad. Anything that that I know of based off this video, you know what I'm saying? That man don't love you, bro. That's my reaction. If you enjoy, give this video a like, subscribe if you haven't. And I'm out.